to a day in our life. This is the show where you get a little bit of everything. This is another episode of the Wonder Bill Show. The Wonder Bill Show. <laughs> go, go. Pretty. I always forget how beautiful San Marcos is. 
like with the river and stuff because we don't we haven't really come here much lately like yeah. we used to but it's just really pretty there's a little homeless camp down in there but is there oh uh, yeah it's on the other side this is much nicer So if you ever are passing through San Marcos, highly recommend going to the river. They have many, many places that you can go tubing, uh, kayaking, paddle boarding. The only thing is during the school year, there's a lot of college kids. And I think that's a lot of the reason why we don't go to the river too often. <laughs> Is it cold? Is it cold? What I was saying is, um, what was I saying? The sirens came by and it distracted me. Somehow nice the uh, city. Uh, yeah, but if you get out in the morning, nice and early, um, and then during the week it's less busy. Um, Hello, hello, welcome to today's video. I'm back in the truck for another car chat. Matt is actually back home, as you saw in the previous clips, but it, he's catching up with work today. He's got a ton of stuff to do after the trip. So next couple days, he's gonna be pretty much like head down, getting some work done. But y'all will see him in Friday's video. He's gonna go over his trips, trips. <laughs> but right now I actually wanted to do a bit of a chat and it's I guess a follow-up from my last car chat talking about my mental health physical health journey since having Eva and it's something that is so near and dear to my heart obviously it's something that's still very fresh to me and I feel like it's so important to talk about one while it's fresh but two because in general it is a very very important topic mental health of course but I feel like mental health as a new mom because it's so common to struggle with it. And I think up until social media and people started sharing their journeys, um, it was something that was almost swept under the rug. I got an excellent question on my Instagram from somebody about this. And I'm just going to read the question. How did you find yourself again? I'm struggling with finding my way back confident and strong pre-baby um, two years ago. So this person is pretty much parallel to where I am in terms of um, postpartum. Sorry, I got an itchy nose. They're asking how I've kind of gotten back to where I am now. And I, I, I say back to where I am, but I'm a different person. I'm a completely different person now. I feel like myself, but I'm also different. <laughs> it's hard to explain, but you know, whenever you do have a baby, as I mentioned in my last video, the old you is gone. Your old life, your old, like schedule everything is flipped on its head 
And I think one of the reasons why I struggled with it so much is because literally overnight, you go from knowing this life and this schedule and you know, you, you live on kind of your terms and you are a bit more free <laughs> and then boom, you have this new tiny human to take care of. You've never taken care of a human before. I hadn't. And your schedule solely depends on their needs and mom life is incredible. I cannot talk enough. I don't want to cry in this video, but it's incredible. I wouldn't change it for anything, but it's also very normal to mourn your old life. And I think sometimes we can get stuck in that. I got stuck in that alongside postpartum depression and I struggled terribly with finding who I was as a mom. And I mean, now I feel so good. I still have moments. I still have moments where I just kind of want to sink into a hole. And that comes with somebody that struggles with depression or anxiety or both. But I have more days where I say, get up and go do what you need to do. I have more days of that than I do of days where I'm just like, what's the point? You know, how I found myself, it's hard to put my finger on any one specific thing, but what I can say is one day at a time. And that was really, really it. On the days, like when I was starting back into working out and focusing on my health, I didn't want to. I didn't want to show up. I didn't want to make sure I was fueling my body well, drink water. I didn't want to exercise. I didn't want to come to the gym, but I did it because I knew that day after day after day, I would slowly find that passion for taking care of myself mentally and physically and that it would pay off. And this isn't about physical changes. I see the changes that I've gone through as a reflection of what's happened up here, what's happened mentally. And that's why I appreciate them so much because I know how hard I've worked for the last two years for them. And finding who I was, or finding, I guess, myself again, it literally just happened one day at a time. And it's, it's so hard when you're in the thick of it to think, okay, just take five minutes to focus on you. Because that's one thing that I recommend, <laughs> is finding something that you enjoy that is your own. Because as a mom, if you're a wife, whatever other roles you have in your life that other people depend on, you have to have something that is your own too. Because then you're going to lose yourself to those other roles. And as a mom, it's hard to step away. You know, because you've got this little human that you created and they depend on you for everything. And I still feel guilty when I come to the gym by myself because I'm like, I could be home, I could be doing dishes, I could be feeding Eva, you know, I'm missing out. But if I don't take this time, this one to two hours a day to do my thing, this is my thing, like not anybody else's. I do this for me. If I don't take this time, it takes a toll on me mentally. And so making a priority to focus for five minutes at least, on something that is your own, yours and yours alone, has helped me so much. And I will always preface or, or disclaim, I'll always add the disclaimer to reach out for help if you need it. Because if you are, you know, two years postpartum and still struggling in terms of like depression or anxiety, reach out. Do not be afraid to ask for help. That Whatever you do to get help, it could be therapy, some, it could be medication, it could be just talking, that can also make the difference of you figuring out what you need to do to learning who you are as a mom now. It is really a daily journey, it's a daily battle, and all we can do is focus one day at a time. And I don't know when exactly it happened, but day after day after day, over the last two years, there was sometime at some point I woke up and I was like I feel good I feel clear-headed I feel more positive I feel more like me because I had lost who I was as a mom 
I hope this makes sense. I lost who I was and taking that time each day to focus on some form of self-care, some form of something that was my own, slowly added up over time and I woke up and I was like, I just, I feel good. And I felt more ready to take on the tasks and more ready to continue to show up for myself because I know that if I don't, I am not at my best for my daughter and my husband. And I know that still struggling with mom guilt, still struggling with feeling selfish, this time is crucial for me because if I don't, I'm not the best mom that I can be. I'm not the best wife that I can be. And so we have to find those things that are our own outside of being a mom, outside of being a wife, outside of being a daughter, outside of being whatever. And that was crucial for me. And so that's my long story, long advice. I hope it helps somebody out there. I will continue to talk about my journey and my experiences because I know that people are listening. I know that somebody is listening and that somebody needs to hear this message today. And I just appreciate all of the love and the support and encouragement that we've gotten on this channel, obviously before Eva, but after I had Eva and whenever I opened up about my journey and my struggles, um, just the amount of love and messages and support and people, women saying, I struggle too, I'm struggling too. And just knowing we're not alone in this journey and alone in our struggles helped in itself. So talk about it find something that is your own and do it every single day and over time you will feel like your strong confident self again don't give up i just i appreciate if you're still watching this video i appreciate you thank you so much i hope that you're having a wonderful day we'll be back on friday with our videos I don't know. I'm awkward. I'm going to go home. I'm going to go snuggle Eva and snuggle my husband <laughs> and have a great day. So thank you for watching. I hope you have fun out there and we'll see you in the next one. This is another episode of the Wonder Bill Show. The Wonder Bill Show.